La Sonnambula is one of the most representative works of Italian composer Vincenzo Bellini. The composer is considered one of the greatest melodists for writing long, beautiful vocal lines. He was a master orchestrator and could write stirringly for the chorus, which all conspires to make La Sonnambula an extremely enjoyable example of Italian opera. The rewarding performance represents the latest collaboration between China's National Center for the Performing Arts and director Gilbert de Flo, who is working with the NCPA for a second time. Because twice I have been treated very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a professional, good conditions to work, mm -hmm. powerful, powerful crew in every section. Because at my age, I want to work less. I did. 150 productions in 20 countries. Mm -hmm. So at the moment I could take a little bit of uh, rest, but uh, everybody knows and feels uh, when I work here, it's in a great harmony. Chinese lyric soprano Dilba Yunus plays the lead actress, and it was her first cooperation with De Flo. She's so grateful that she creates that with me, mm -hmm. and she's a, a very good character very good human being, please help me, I help her. Mm -hmm. Because uh, creating Amina is really, really, very, 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 very difficult. Eh? It's one of the high bel canto parts with Puritani, with uh, Lucia di Lamarmore, there are a few milestones like that. Yeah. So I worked very well with her. The premiere went under the baton of conductor Daniel Oren who is especially talented at conducting Italian operas. I know Daniel very well. Mm -hmm. We did already three productions together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as he sees in me a very lyrical director, mm -hmm. he sees that I am in function of the music. I try to make a direction where everything is what I call lyrical. Every gesture, every entrance, every relationship, even the light should become music. And he conducts dramatically. The Chinese edition also features set designer Alessandro Camera, costume designer Carla Ricotti, and influential singers from China and abroad. The opera will be staged at the NCPA until September the 2nd. Bill Neenan, CGTN.